So congratulations on the movie. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Now, the boys have been dealt a bit of a bad hand in life, but what is it that gives them the strength to pursue their goals? I, I each think other. That's what I was going to say. I think they, fi they both find a lot of it. strength in each other, and they know that they can always rely on the other one. So if they're ever in doubt, the other one's always there to pick them up. Yeah, Zach doesn't work without Dave, and Dave doesn't really work without Zach. And in what ways do the brothers help each other grow? I think how different they are as people really shows the other this you know, this different lifestyle, this different way of life. So, you know, Dave can seize everything from his perspective and then Zach can come in and maybe say, here, here's some shared perspective that can maybe balance you out a little bit and mm -hmm. vice versa. Now, run the race is not only a sports term, but it's often used to describe one's life journey. So how does it apply in this movie? Absolutely, like you just said. Yeah. It, 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 it's a metaphor for your life's journey, I think. It's about not giving up. Yeah, and you know, Sometimes you don't have to run, but just keep going. That there is, there is a goal of some sort, and you can make that goal anything you want. And you can change a goal. And you can run, you can walk, you can skip, you can pause, but always keep going. Because that's what life is. Hmm? What is it about sports that, you know, with the football and the track, what do they mean to the boys? It's a good way to establish these two brothers and how they how they support each other. You know, um, you know, Dave supports Zach in football, and then Zach with Dave in in um, in track. So it's really just a conduit to display that that yeah. love. And it's almost like their key to get out of the town, like yeah, you know, with the scholarship. And what was it like working with executive producer Tim Tebow? And was were you able to spend time with him? Did he give you any advice or stories from his career that you were able to draw on for your character? We we didn't get to spend um, a ton of time around Tim, but the time we did get to spend with him, he's he's really like like you, you said it earlier. He's the real deal. He's everything. He's super authentic. He's the personal embodiment of practice what you preach. He's he's absolute mm -hmm. just kindness exuding through every pore of his body. Yeah, as is Robbie Tebow, mm -hmm. who we spent the majority of our time with on set and off set. We became, oh, yeah. we, we became pretty close with Robbie. Oh, awesome. He's yeah. the third brother. <laughs> he is. Christopher, how does your character, uh, his alcoholism, affect his relationship with his kids? I mean, I think it, it completely paints his relationship with his kids. Um, so my character, Michael Tree, lost his wife. And instead of... I think he just, instead of being able to push through his grief, uh, it breaks him down in a way that he just sort of drifts off. And I think that when his wife was alive, there might have been a natural competitiveness with his sons, but that competitiveness sort of eats at him like a cancer. And so he's just a broken guy, and he's mm. ineffectual as a dad. He's a bad dad. And Francis, how is Louise a pivotal character for the boys? I, I see her as an anchor for them. Um, not so much that she's overbearing, but they just know that she's always there because she was a longtime family friend and has become a sort of godmother to them, you know, always it, encouraging. They're very lucky to have her. She picks yeah. up the pieces, right? Yes. Yeah, she, yeah. Fills, she fills the void. Um, I think it's important, too, in this film to, to it's a sweet reminder of... Uh, in life, you need people who encourage you, and you need people who pour into you, and you need people who, who are just, you know, full of love and light that can that can share that sort of selflessly. And that's what I love your character for, and how you, how well you played it. Like, because it really is. It's like, even like for me, she's like, no, your your daddy will come around. Like, you just gotta give him another chance. And mm -hmm. um, it's just such a sweet reminder to be that person, you know. And because this movie is about sports and high school, in high school, what sports or activities did you enjoy? I played basketball and baseball in high school. I stopped football right before there, but basketball's always been my main sport. Mm -hmm. I played, I actually did play football in high school. Uh, I played it like my entire life, so it was cool to revisit that during this film. And the movie is also about forgiveness and growing, so in what ways did you grow by working on this movie? I mean, I think just you know, you're acting in it, but you take a step back and you look at this movie and you look at the script, you look at the story and you say, oh wow, if these kids can move on and overcome these obstacles and find a way to grow in their lives and use them to make them stronger, then 
you obviously can, and any, anyone can take that from this movie. Yeah, Run the Race really put in perspective how good we have it, or some people have <laughs> it, you know, like, and it's it just, you learn to be grateful. And speaking about chances and hope, in what ways does this movie teach us about forgiveness? That's the whole key to life, I think, is having, having faith that things can turn around and to forgive and really let go of holding on to the pain of something that's disappointing. Yeah. I think more than forgiveness, though, I think that's a sub-theme. I think the theme of the movie is about failure and what does it look like when the goals that you've set out for have not come to fruition and then when you've fallen short and does that paint your whole existence at this point? Mm -hmm. Like, do you, and I think that's the problem with Michael. I think his life failed. And he doesn't deal with failure in the same way like yeah, your characters. Yeah. And the boys are being challenged. And you see each brother kind of have a different approach at when life gets sort of in the way of the plans that you make. Um, and I love the message of the film because it's, it's so encouraging. It's saying, and like you said, just keep running the race. Like, you're not done until we shed the mortal coil and go off to the great beyond. You just keep on. Finally, because the movie is about sports in high school, what uh, sports or activities did you enjoy in your high school days? Junior high softball and high school was volleyball. Oh, nice. Second string, because I was short, but it was fun going on those trips. Were you a setter? Yeah, that's yeah. all I could <laughs> <You're> like, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Only if we were way ahead would they send me in. Give you the, I, yeah. um, I grew up in Tahoe area, so I skied ever since I was three years old, and then tennis, mm. basketball, and baseball. Yeah. And who do you think should see this movie, and what message do you hope they take away from it? Everyone. <laughs> Everyone come see the movie. I think everybody should see the movie, and I really hope that they take away that you know you're always you always have someone to rely on. You're never alone. And that, you know, you're never a victim of your circumstances. You can rise above yeah. anything. You just use it to make you stronger. Well, thank you so much for talking to Hey You Guys. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you, Danielle. Thank you. Nice hey, you guys. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for Hi. coming. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.